typically what we have with this, uh, what's been collected, is a, a mixture of materials of cans, plastics, paper, and small bits of cars. So the type of materials that we don't want in this, uh, this blue bin is food waste and nappies and that type of material because that's classed as a contamination and that causes us issues going forward as far as our process is concerned. The hopper has a conveyor belt at the bottom which slowly feeds a machine called the trommel. Now a trommel is a very large drum with, with the size of holes underneath to allow small fragments of material to fall out and land on the floor. The rest of the material then flows onto an incline conveyor and goes up onto what we we'll call a picking line. The picking line has very tight operatives, recycling operatives, who are positioned strategically to pick out the contamination. The remainder of the materials, which is plastics, cans, cardboard and paper, will go on to the next process. We'll have another couple of additional operators who will pick out large bits of cardboard who will go into a separate bay. Then we'll have some recycling operators who will pick out plastics. The plastics will drop into a bay and we will bulk them up. So the remainder of materials goes through the line should only be cans, paper and small bits of uh, card. Now this bit of equipment we've actually just installed can detect the two different types of cans. So there's a very large magnet fitted to conveyor which will pick up the steel cans and then bring them down to a chute and put them to a separate steel bay. A different type of magnet, which is called an eddy current, actually will throw the aluminium cans into a separate bay. And then we'll have a paper and small bits of card that goes into the last bay. They provided the best solution for what we required. Um, they have a well-known name in the industry. They provide good quality materials. Um, the equipment's always delivered on time and it's good working with them. And um, yes, this kit, in the first couple of weeks of using it, yeah. appears to be doing the right things. So long may it continue. A waste stream of metal cans, paper and cardboard, but also containing some contaminants, is deposited at the site. The waste is firstly loaded into a blue mat moving floor hopper, which provides a consistent feed of material to the trommel. The trommel is a large steel rotating drum with 40mm holes, allowing materials smaller than 40mm to fall through the holes into a bay below. The remaining material moves up an incline conveyor to a manual picking area where various materials are separated out depending upon operational requirements. Any contaminants such as food is also extracted from the waste stream at this point. The remaining material, which is now predominantly paper and metal cans, moves under an overbound magnet where the ferrous is extracted. Paper and non-ferrous metal continue to an eddy current which temporarily induces a magnetic charge in the metal causing it to repel from the belt and jump forward over a splitter plate. Any remaining contaminants are removed with the clean paper falling to a bay below for further processing and sale.